In this short online lecture, what I want to show you here is to how to pull all together the factors that affect pKa. Remember, we know electronegativity can affect pKa, hybridization, resonance delocalization, size, and the inductive effect. Each rule helps us compare apples to apples, but what if we need to compare, let's say, apples to oranges? For instance, let's say on your orgo exam they're asking you which one of these species is the strongest acid, or in other words, which one has the lowest pKa. Let me show you how to do this. First, remember what you should do is generate all of their conjugate bases. The first one has this as a conjugate base. The second one would be this here. This guy's conjugate base would look like that. Here's his conjugate base, and here's his conjugate base. Now, what you should do is find at least two conjugate bases that you can compare side by side. Here's what I mean. Look at this conjugate base right here. We have electrons sitting on top of a carbon, and that carbon happens to be sp hybridized. And look at this conjugate base over here. Kind of the same thing. We got electrons on a carbon, but this time the carbon is sp2 hybridized. And in fact, we could even throw this conjugate base in. He is electrons sitting on top of a carbon, but he happens to be sp3 hybridized. So that means out of these three conjugate bases, I can use the hybridization rule. And remember what we learned is the more s character of the conjugate base, the more stable the conjugate base, and therefore the more acidic the acid. So that means out of these three species, this one cannot be the strongest acid, nor can this one, because the conjugate acid with the sp hybridization we know is definitely stronger than these two. This is what I mean by comparing apples to apples, and these are the things we want to look for when we're trying to rule out answers. So let's get rid of these right here. We have these three left now. Well, look at each one here. Notice this one has a negative charge on the oxygen, this one has a negative charge on a nitrogen, and this one over here has a negative charge on a carbon. And if you look at the periodic table of elements, you'll notice that carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen are in the same row, which means they're roughly the same size. And remember we learned that if you're roughly the same size, you can use electronegativity to judge conjugate base stability. So the question is, which one of these atoms bearing the negative charge is more electronegative? That would be, of course, oxygen. That means this guy is ruled out right here, and so is this one, which means we're done. We got to our answer. This would have the lowest pKa or be the strongest acid. So notice, it's not that one factor of pKa trumps other factors. Each factor only really helps us compare two acids side by side. However, what I'm showing you here is with the little reasoning skills, you can combine the factors and still get to a correct answer. And in other words, technically compare apples to oranges. There are plenty of opportunities in your orgo textbook to practice problems like this.